You say this gypsy woman didn't charge you for telling your fortune? No, but she... Of course not. They're too smart. That's a violation. Yeah, but when I got out of the store, my wallet was missing. Sixty-six bucks, and who knows how much they've already eaten on my credit cards. How many times we warned the public about these ragtail gypsy families who move into empty stores? Yeah, well, I was going to go to the racetrack this afternoon. I figured maybe I'd try to find out how I was going to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Andy! Yes, Captain? I got a gypsy eviction case. What's the next car out? Car 54. Tutty in Muldoon. <laughs> Anybody else? No, that's all. Tutty, Muldoon. I'm putting my best men on it. <laughs> this, this gentleman had his wallet stolen by some gypsies. Take him down there and investigate it. Yes, sir. Got clipped by a gypsy, huh? <laughs> Muldoon, when you get there, leave Tutty in the car. If he went in to arrest a gypsy, he'd come out with a pierced ear and a down payment on an earring. <laughs> Good work, officer. I see you caught him. Caught him. Yes. He keeps opening our front door and throwing things in. Rocks, old newspapers, banana pits. Today threw in his wallet. Here. I never threw my wallet in. Get out of my store. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Any money left? One dollar. He left a dollar. That's how he threw it in. Where's the rest of the money? Money? I, I'm just a poor, simple woman of peasant stock who doesn't understand this sort of thing, but... If I did understand this sort of thing, the first thing I would ask is, is the money marked, and do you have a corroborating witness? According to Penal Code 8642, Section 7, upheld by the Supreme Court. Then perhaps you also know you're violating Section 583 of the Building Code. You're using this store for living quarters when legally it can only be used for business purposes. What are you talking about? This is my business quarters. You can read. I am the authorized franchise dealer and sole distributor in New York for the Budapest Manufacturing Company. What do you sell here? Diesel locomotives. <laughs> Diesel locomotives. Also steam. On special order, but you got to give us 30 days. We're only human. Look, Mrs. Uh... Lupesco. Anna Lupesco. Cable address, Lupo. Look, Mrs. Lupesco, now the police department isn't going to stand for you preying on these gullible citizens. We're getting you out of here. Now, this is the final warning. May all your teeth fall out the day before Thanksgiving. <laughs> Stephen, you left the dollar. <laughs>